Did I just say I don't have a sweet tooth? I, I do, but it's not extreme. Hello my world, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video makes me a little bit nostalgic because it takes me back to 2016 when I was doing the video for my bucket list 2017. Well, I don't surely have a bucket list for 2019, but instead of a list like that, I thought I would come up with few things which are like my resolutions for 2019 just for my skincare. I thought I would do this quick video and share this thought or these ideas that I have about my skincare routine or regime that I would dedicatedly want to follow in 2019. Let's get started. The first one is drinking lots of water. I used to previously drink at least more than 3.5 liters of water per day and I don't know what happened over the last year. Maybe it was the climate change or what, but my water intake reduced terribly and eventually I started noticing that my skin started to get drier and also it flushes out all the toxins so I think that's one of the most prime important thing and that is it's on the topmost um, level on my list. The next thing is also something to do with intake and that is eating fresh fruits. I somehow developed this tendency of having juice. I think it's rather better to have fresh fruits because you have a lot of fiber along with the vitamins that you take in. Also the seasonal variations and you get different fruits in different seasons, they all benefit you in a different way. So I'm really excited and looking forward because fruits are always delicious. It's something that we all like. Um, in fact, it could be maybe my dessert or something. The third thing that I have on my list is making face packs. I used to love making homemade face packs for my skin and literally every weekend, Saturday and Sunday would be my time to just detox, relax, detox my skin, my body, my mind, everything. And I already used to do them so often that it shouldn't be difficult. So expect a lot of face pack videos coming up in this season because honestly, I like them. They are much better than uh, the packed uh, face packs. But I'm gonna come up with a few of these quick DIYs because I am also looking forward to doing all of those things and pampering my skin in a way and um, going back to nature. And also, I, as I said previously, I'll be having a lot of fruits. So of course I can use the peel, um, dry them and use them in my face bags. The next thing is cleaning my brushes. I've been lazy. Last year I've been completely lazy because I would not really do makeup that much. I'm not a person who does makeup on a daily basis, but maybe when I'm doing my YouTube videos or something. But I realized that every time I would do makeup, I would break out. I was thinking, and for me it's, very difficult to judge because I'm thinking okay is it because of the foundation is it because of this or is it because of my body and then I realized that my makeup brushes were not clean that's the most dirtiest thing that you can have like the most unhygienic thing in your entire vanity I've made a routine I'm gonna clean my brushes every second week so maybe over the weekend or something whether I'm using them or not it doesn't matter but I'm gonna clean them because I don't want acne breaking out on my face the fifth um, task to do is start using eye cream. I've always neglected my eye area, I don't know why, uh, but even I have puffy eyes when I wake up in the morning and even if I'm staying hydrated or not staying hydrated, it shows immediately on my eyes and I think it's the proper time to start using an eye cream. So even though I have a proper skincare routine uh, for day and for the night, but there's this one part which I happen to skip every now and then. I'm gonna see in 2019 that I'm focusing on the eyes and I'm taking care of them as well. The sixth one is very similar to the last one. It's including my neck and I know a lot of people do it. I mean even though we know in the back of our mind and in our heads already that you're supposed to include your neck, like you, when you do your makeup you include your neck, so why do you skip it during skincare? So that's one thing for 2019 is like including my neck when it comes to skincare. The seventh one is again related to the eyes and that is using sunglasses. I used to wear sunglasses when I was in India. We do have hard summers here as well but the entire summer I didn't use sunglasses even once. When you are not using sunglasses you're prone to more sun damage and also wrinkles around your eye area. So this is again taking care of my eyes and I'm going to see to it that I'm including sunglasses in my skincare routine. The next one is doing yoga religiously. 
I still do it maybe once a week or twice a week but previously I used to do it every single day no matter what even if I'm running late I would never start um, from home without doing my yoga it's as simple as doing maybe 12 or 24 Surya Namaskars in the morning but I somehow think it really gives that good circulation it gets your system started it's just not related to my skin or my hair or something but when you feel good inside it reflects on the outside that's what I believe so if I'm really talking about skincare in detail then I think yoga is also one of the most important things the next thing is also more like self-care and self-awareness that's thinking positive I know that it reflects on my skin quite immediately on my face in fact in general even when I have hard days or not a good one it shows immediately on my skin and the next morning I'm dull I feel as if I'm very pale and I think the most important thing is self-love or or appreciating yourself first before anybody else could come and say hey you look beautiful today I think it's uh, we spend a lot of time trying to find it outside wherein we have all the opportunities and we have the entire access to appreciating what we have and being happy for what we have and feeling blessed and like the previous video that I did on my bucket list 2017 I left the difficult one for the end and for me that would be reducing sugar I, I honestly don't have a sweet I do have a sweet tooth but it's not something that kills me and I'm like oh my god I'm so addicted to sugar no but I do have a soft corner for chocolates so I know I have the capacity to be strict with myself and I'm like, skip sugar completely but I don't want to torture myself when it comes to seeing chocolates or cookies did I just say I don't have a sweet tooth I, I do but it's not extreme so that's another task for 2019 that would be reducing sugar so that's all that I would like to do to take care of myself and to take care of my skin in 2019 I know this was I don't know if you guys can relate to this video or not but it's just that last night I was writing this and I thought it would be nice to share with you guys since um, I also do a lot of these I mean not lot but few of these personal videos wherein I talk about my life and these would also be something for people who are already suffering from acne so getting a pointer like okay I need to clean my brushes if I want to avoid acne so I hope you guys enjoyed this chatty video and found it useful I wish you all a very happy new year 2019 and I hope you get what you desire and what you deserve and lots of success lots of love to each and every one of you stay happy I'll see you all soon with a new video. Bye!